Hey guys, what up? Welcome back for a new match of Shadow Era. Where we are playing Fast Swift Hands. Yep. We're playing the Shadow Warrior. Let's see if it has some potential. So I'm still testing out some decks. Still on the low rating points, 158. And yeah, I have a new, a nice, nice little combo of here. Uh, with the Yari uh, Play Dancer. And this guy over here, you can use his uh, attack power to boost up this guy. And you can take out some smaller guys. Mm, let's see, we're going to drop this one. Let's bring in a Yari. And then turn. So if you're playing a, a warrior, I do not want to see any humans anymore. Because this guy kicked pure and ass. It's two resources, two three, and he got a pretty nice ability. Especially with the, the one card that I just didn't drew. Uh, there is a card that says uh, it costs you three resources, and it's a two two haste guy. And for one resources, you give one uh, ally minus one defense and plus one attack. So in Shadow Era, it's all about board control. So let's say you're going first. Second turn, you drop this one. In the third turn, you're going to drop that that haste guy. And that haste guy got uh, two attack, two defense, and you give him. You can give him with the Yari Blade Dancer plus two attack. So that makes you uh, a pretty huge advantage because in turn 3 you can deal 4 damage with an ally. So even if you go second in turn 3 you can take out a Jasmine. So that's really nice. So this is also a little bit of a combo here. You cursed the uh, Curse of the Algorithm attached to a target ally, the ally has sustained one shadow energy. So that ally, every turn that he's alive, he's going to cost him one shadow energy. So I'm going to lock him down. And he's going to have to pay one shadow energy for each turn that wants to have him alive. So now you gain one shadow energy, but at the end of the turn you will lose one because of the attachment. Does this mean? Okay, nothing too scary, but I can do anything. Can't do anything at the moment. I can attack him right away. Just do that. And then turn. See? So if yeah, if this ally stays in play, he's not going to gain any more shadow energy. That's pretty sick. Now you can use an your mine on him to take him down, but yeah, I just wanted to show this off to you guys because um, it's, uh, I think it's better against uh, a Moonstalker to drop them an ally that costs re four resources because I don't think they can take down their own ally that costs four resources. Maybe they can, maybe they can. But we've drawn another Yari Blade Dancer. And since I know that Moonstalker doesn't have any mass removal, we'll just go all out. We have pretty much board control there. Yeah, he got some more cards in his hand, so let's see what he's up to this turn. Five resources, there comes a jeweler's dream. Well, he can't take down any of one of my allies. And if he plays an ally, it's probably going to die because this spider has got to attack. You can give it plus two, plus four. So then it has six attack. And it can take down an ally that costs six or less. Okay, so there comes a the dead mage. Well, let's attack him first. And then. Um, 
disability to him. Mm. In a second. Because this one becomes a four base attack. Hmm. I did play this in the right order, I think. But it no, doesn't matter. Okay, let's see here. Let's take down this one. And block this one. And hit him in the face. Six. That's a big one. A big blow in his face. <laughs> As you can see, he still keeps one shadow energy. So you can also play this little combo in the Amber Rain deck. It will slow you down a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, you can lock your opponent from turn two. Well, at least some opponents. But it costs you like two cards. You know, Crippling Blow and a Curse of the Alamore. So if they play something like a Legend Rises or uh, Sacrifice the lamp or something, it, yeah, it just costs you two cards. There he knew some of his resources. He's at 13 health, right? Okay. I can retrieve a hero of him, or an ally of him. Yeah. That goes. Two, five, seven, eight, nine. Well, that's not enough, so. Let's give him a little bit of a bonus. Why can't oh, it has to be less? Okay, no matter. Let's use the ability. Because it's still going to do some damage. And it's got plus one, plus one now. That's sick already. Set him in the face for nine. Take him down to one. Let's drop this one and turn. So this was a pretty sick matchup, you know. This guy was really chanced as from the beginning. Since he lost all of his shadow energy. I guess he's dead now. We go 25. He's got four resources left. It's over. Yep, that's the fast swift hand stack. So yeah, this Yori Blade Runner with this uh, spider guy, which I'm not going to say his name because I'm probably going to mispronounce it really, really bad. <laughs> so there comes a blood frenzy. And let's just hit him in the face for five. And end this game with a nice win. GG. Well, I hope you liked this match. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know when you want to see next. Um, if I don't see something in the comments, uh, I don't know if you ever want to see a specific hero or a specific deck or something. Um, I'm just going to show you guys another new deck that I made. And we'll see you next match. Cheers!